Good morning, Chargers. This is Bella. And Daisy. Welcome back to another day of WRSN. In today's show, we're showing more elective promos, some prom theme guesses, and today's moment in black history. Let's get right into the show. February celebrates Black History Month and commemorates the contributions of African Americans. Let's check out today's moment in Black History brought to you by BSU. Hello Chargers, my name is Darnell Walker, a member of BSU, and I'm here to bring you all today's moment in Black History, which is dedicated to Anna Julia Cooper. Often referred to as the mother of Black feminism, Anna Julia Cooper was born into enslavement on August 10, 1858. Despite this, Cooper went on to earn a PhD from the Sorbonne in Paris in 1925 and influenced the lives of many black students at the historic M Street School in Washington, D.C., with her deep and abiding belief in education for social progress and transformation. Thank you and tune in tomorrow for another moment in black history and be sure to stick with BSU as we make the rest of this month special. The course selection process is underway for underclassmen. It's time to learn more about Mr. Cobb's IB art class. Here's Caroline with the story. teach in art is creativity. Most people don't care whether you can draw or not because we have cameras, we have photography. Um, but you would take drawing because you uh, learn how to become more creative, how to solve problems creatively. Um, if uh, you go to a job interview, they're not going to ask you to draw something, obviously, but they're going to uh, ask you uh, potentially, how would you solve this problem? If your answer is more creative than the other guy, then you stand out and you would get the job as opposed to the person who just gives the same standard answer. If art isn't your thing, maybe you're interested in AP Seminar. Jacob and Anub tell us more about it. AP Seminar is one of the many electives Chargers can sign up for here at Suncoast. Taught by Dr. Hamilton and Ms. Morton, students work through multiple projects throughout the year, which is designed to help prepare them for college writing and research. In AP Seminar, what we do is we, do, we, we learn about research papers that we generally do in college, and we do different projects for college boards, such as IRRs, TMPs, and IWAs and performance tasks. While working in groups and by themselves, students can learn useful skills in research and presentation that will carry over into college. This is Anu Bakum and Jacob Bellum reporting for WRSN. Prom is right around the corner. What do you think the prom theme is this year? I'm not sure. Let's see what other Chargers are thinking. Hi Chargers, I'm Terrence Williams, the junior class president, and today I'm here to reveal to you what we have all been waiting for, the 2023 prom theme. But first, let's see if some students can guess what the theme is. I think the theme of prom is a circus parade. Under the Sea, Met Gala. It is Hollywood. Met Gala. A Night in Dubai. Ooh. 90s. Shrek. Red Carpet. A Night in Dubai. A Jungle. Enchanted Forest. Oh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse! Shrek. Roaring Twenties. Winter Wonderland. Something in the forest or like, you know, movie star related, like the red carpet. And the theme is the ocean. Or something. It's gotta be Beauty and the Beast. And once upon a time are far, far away. It's Shrek. Fairy Tale. The twinkle, Twinkle Little Stars. It's Avatar. Under the Sea. Retro. Retro. Ballroom. Powerpuff Girls, A Night Out in Paris, Beauty and the Beast, Enchanted Forest, that's the theme. Be like foresty. Prom theme is a masquerade. Looking for something to do at lunch? Check out the club's meeting today.
Now let's toss it over to Lily for sports. What's up Chargers? It's Lily with your sports news for the day. Last night, our varsity girls across team lost to Wellington with a final score of 7-9. Shout out to Isabella Sill for leading our team with the most goals. Our girls flag football team played Royal Palm Beach last night and finished with a score of 13-8. Shout out to Abby Thompson and Sabrina Heim for scoring both of the touchdowns. Our boys tennis players all won their matches last night and 8 out of the 9 girls tennis players also won their matches. With the boys basketball season coming to an end, Let's get a recap on their district game. On Tuesday, February 21st, the boys varsity basketball team played against Norland Miami High School in the district tournament to play in the regional tournament. The show out was amazing and many charges came to show their support for our boys team. Both teams played strong and by the end of the third quarter, we were up 49 to 44. In the end, our charges lost 65 to 64, but it was a very strong effort. Congratulations to the boys for a great game. Good job to both teams. This has been Ava reporting for WRSN. Thanks, Ava. Tonight, our JV boys baseball team will host Newman for their first game at 6.30. Our girls softball team will play Palm Beach Central away at 4. Both of our girls and boys track and field teams will travel to Jupiter tonight. Lastly, our girls water polo team will play in the Wildcat tournament tonight. Good luck to all of our Chargers playing. Back to Daisy and Bella in the studio. Thanks, Lily. Now it's time to wish our Chargers a very happy birthday. Happy birthday, Chargers. Be sure to check out the slides for more information on today's show. That's all for today, Chargers. This has been Daisy. And Bella with WRSN. Thanks for, for tuning, tuning in. in.